an earlier presentation I showed you how to write this piece of code here to analyze an ECG signal in order to determine the average beats per minute. Um, in this presentation I'm going to run through how to convert this into a function. And uh, I generally prefer functions to scripts because scripts can inadvertently overwrite variables. Uh, so as an example, if I had a, a variable k and I set it equal to 378, okay, um, imagine I ran the script. So I ran this script here and I calculate the beats per minute, 72, great. But my variable k has been overwritten. It's now 4999. I'm sorry, 499. And that wasn't obvious. So I could be maybe reusing, wanting to reuse k uh, at a later date, but I wouldn't have, may not have noticed that it was overwritten. Uh, but using functions you can avoid that type of issue because you have uh, global and local variables. So to convert this into a function is actually quite straightforward. Uh, we'll type function is the keyword. And the name of the function and that should match the file name, so in my case it's BPM. And um, we need to pass some variables. Now in this case I'm going to pass um, two variables, a signal and the sampling frequency. They're the two key pieces of information that I need to send to the function. And based on that f information then it can calculate the BPM. Um, now I had BPM down here, I might actually change that variable. I think the fact that I have called it uh, BPM and the function name is BPM as well, that could cause confusion. So uh, BPM average might be better. Now I want to pass that function, that variable back from the function. So this would BPM AVG average is going to be equal to that. Okay, so that's this script now converted into a function. Um, I'm going to pass the variable fs and sig to the function. So I no longer need this line here. I'm going to get rid of it, comment it out, and then see if my how my function works. Let's just now use the function. So uh, bpm, and I need to give it a signal and the sampling rate 100, and I should get the same result as before. Now, as well as getting a result return, I'm getting these two values um, just because in my script they're being echoed to the screen. So I, I can comment those out and I'll take that line out. And now let's run that again. Okay, so there's my function working. Uh, I'll reload in my signal from the text file and see if it's working. So now I can reuse this function any time with any signal that I have um, and I can change the sampling rate and the signal and it should perform the ECG analysis on it um, or sorry the beats per minute analysis on it. Okay, thanks for your attention.